In today's how-to video, we'll be demonstrating how to create a Windows bootable USB. So let's get started. Now, we're not going to use any kind of VMs, though we will be using some screen capture and we'll also be using Windows 7 as our test pad. Now, before we get started, we are going to need a few things. Uh, first, we're going to need a USB stick that's at least 8 gigabytes. Uh, it is going to get formatted, so everything on it will get erased. We'll also need a Windows ISO. If you don't have one, you can create one from your Windows install DVD, or you can follow my video on how to download them directly from Microsoft. And third, we will be needing a special USB imaging tool that we'll download from the internet. So we'll go ahead and open up a web browser. Uh, we're just going to use Firefox, though any browser will do. In the search, we're going to go ahead and type Rufus and hit enter. So for me, it's the very first one at the top of the list, so we'll go ahead and click on that link. So it brings us to the Rufus download page, so we're going to scroll down a little bit and we'll go ahead and click on the Rufus 3.3. So that's going to begin the download and we'll go ahead and click on save file and we'll just go ahead and save it in our downloads folder. With the download complete, we'll go ahead and uh, open it up. And uh, this is an executable, so it doesn't need to install. It'll just run right from itself. Now that Rufus is open, we're going to go ahead and put in our USB drive. Uh, for us, it popped right up, though you may have to select it in the uh, device dropdown. Uh, we're going to go ahead and press select to select our image. And uh, we're going to go ahead and use this Windows 10 image that we uh, already downloaded previously. So we'll click Open, and then we'll click Start. Um, it's This pop-up is just telling us that uh, everything on the device will be erased. So we'll click OK. And uh, this could take some time, so we'll just fast forward through. Okay, now that it's all set, we now have our USB complete, so we'll select close here, and we will uh, remove our USB and put it back in and see what it says. And there we go, the autoplay popped up, and it reads it as the uh, Windows 10 media so we'll go ahead and open it up and that's the contents of our USB so that's how you create a Windows bootable USB knowledge is power